Welcome to the Observer Media Group's Daily Headlines Broadcast, awarded 2012's Best Video Initiative by a local newspaper in North America. Community news from Longboat, Sarasota, East County, and Siesta Key. Yourobserver.com. Local news that's local news. It's Tuesday, October 16th. I'm Emily Walsh. And I'm Alex Mahadavan, here to report the daily headlines. City Manager Tom Barwin has selected Bernadette DePino as the city's new police chief. Barwin announced the decision at 3 p.m. today. DePino has been the police chief in Ocean City, Maryland since 2003. As Sarasota's new chief, she will oversee a force of 174 police officers. She will inherit a department surrounded in a high-profile investigation that resulted in a forced resignation of former police chief Peter Abbott. Further cuts and changes to the police pension plan are also on the horizon. For more, go online to yourobserver.com. The city of Sarasota seeks a catalyst project for a downtown vacant property. Monday, city commissioners decided to seek a public-private partnership on an acre of city-owned land. That acre is located at 1440 Boulevard of the Arts. City manager Tom Barwin says he sees the area as a catalyst opportunity. Barwin envisions a mixed-use development on the Boulevard of the Arts property. Mayor Suzanne Atwell agrees with Barwin. Read more about the meeting on yourobserver.com. A decision on updating the telecommunications code on Longboat Key has been put on hold. The town commission says it wants staff to come back with revised language to provide cell tower and telecommunication construction applicants a clear permitting path to follow. Also at the workshop, commissioners moved forward with a resolution that updates the town's 10-year water supply plan for the Southwest Florida Water Management District and a budget transfer of $40,000 for the completion of a Lindley Street boat ramp replacement in Long Beach Village. For more, visit yourobserver.com. Longboat Key Chamber of Commerce President Tom Apospiris has announced his resignation. In a release sent Monday, Chamber Board of Directors Chairman Jimmy Seaton stated the board understood from the outset that Apospiris would not be in the position forever. Seaton added Apospiris has expressed a willingness to work for the chamber part-time, managing special projects, or representing the chamber in public and governmental affairs. The board plans to develop a succession plan over the next 30 days. For more, visit yourobserver.com. Two years from today, area residents and tourists will be shopping till they drop at a new mega mall. Construction began yesterday for the mall at University Town Center. Representatives of Taubman Centers and Benderson Development gathered yesterday afternoon to celebrate the groundbreaking. The 880,000 square foot mall will bring high-end new retailers to the University Parkway corridor. The mall is slated to open at 10 a.m. October 16th, 2014. In two years, I plan on being at Saks' front door at 10.01 a.m. I'll be there, too, to check out the new men's department. Well, that's all for today's headlines. For more community and breaking news, go online to yourobserver.com daily. And pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. You. Your neighbors. Your, your neighborhood. neighborhood.